Hello, and this is chapter 8. This chapter will show some packages of the robot, sensor, and the motor. The contents are about robot packages, sensor packages, and also the motor packages. What we see first is the robot packages. There are lots of mobile robots, many players, and the mobile many players, which is a mixed one, and social robots as well. And the number is about 90. You can check the details in the link above. The next is the sensor package. Also, there are lots of sensors available in ROS. The LiDAR sensor, which scans objects with laser and figures out their distance. And the RGBD camera, which can get depth data as well as RGB data. Veldyne is especially used in autonomous driving field. And the controller, the joypad from PlayStation and Xbox. You can check the details also in the link above. So this is the summary of the link. There are two kinds of rangefinders, which are different with the dimension. 1D rangefinder can be regarded as an IR sensor. And the 2D rangefinders might have a wide field of view, or it rotates to seek the object from designated field. The 3D sensor is the depth camera that we saw many times in the previous. The package for audio or speech recognition and the cameras and the others are available in ROS. Please check this later. Then let's test a camera package. If you have a laptop, and if it has a camera inside, the extra USB camera might not be needed. Then install the related packages here. After the installation, Ross run the node. If you don't know whether the number of the camera port is, then check the number by ls slash dv slash video star. You can find the number if the camera is properly connected. So let's keep going. Here are three ways that can show the video images, but these are already introduced in previous tutorials. If you are using the Arvis to see it, if you are using the Arvis to see it, you should add an extra display for showing the image, then change the name of image topic. Then the following results will be get by each image viewers. The second practice is to send the image from a computer to another. You can think this as to get the video stream from a robot remotely. Please try this example if you have two computers with ROS installed. The third practice is to calibrate the camera. In almost all cases, the camera that you have must be already calibrated and the calibration data is in the camera's firmware or driver, and so you don't need to calibrate again. But if you are going to use like a fisheye camera, or the camera that has much distortion on its light field, or even you are going to use some nodes that needs the calibration matrix, then you should do this. Enter the commands. But this example needs a flat board that has the kind of checkerboard. The calibration checks where the crossing point between black and white rectangular are and calculate the distortion on each point of light field. The option on the third command line relates to the checkerboard. So, for example, 8 multiplied 6 means each number of points in row and column. The number next to the square option is the size of single rectangular in meter unit. There are many kinds of checkerboards, so adjust the option to the checkerboard. The fourth practice uses the depth camera. You can use this as well if you have an ASUS Action or the Orbic Astra. Or a RealSense R200 as well. The following is all what you need to run these depth cameras. 
When you run the dev camera node, this is actually what you saw previously, but you can see the result in your display. This package is for the stereo camera called OCam. If you have this, you can follow the guide. The next packages are for the ladders. The followings are for the LDS from LG Hitachi, the RP lighter, and the lighter from Hokuyo. Using the LDS for instance, you will get this screen when you set the options as the image shows. These options, especially the axis length and radius, are for showing the scan result as similar as the real space. The next is the IMU. This package is for the IMU from WeedRobot, but you can find another package for another IMUs. Now let's see the package for the motor. This one is also describing the ROS wiki, so see the link above if you are interested. And there are three ROS packages for the motor control. But we are now going to see the package for Dynamixel. In Dynamixel, there are various price lineups in each model. AX series, the new X series, and Pro series, which is over 200 watts. Dynamixel is a full modularized servo motor. This has not only the motor, but the communication layer, which includes RS485 and TTL, and the control layer gears, encoder, and so on. There are two ways to control the diamond cell via ROS. The first is using the diamond cell SDK. This is kinda API library. This supports seven languages, but in ROS, there are ROS C++, and recently it tries to release the ROS Python version. So anyway, you won't find any nodes in this package. You should make the nodes that includes or imports the functions from Dimes SDK library. And the other way to do is using the Dimes workbench. There are plenty of tools and examples to let you use Dimes API very easily. You can find out the details in the following link.